When you're making videos by yourself for YouTube, things don't always work out like you planned. Like this video, for instance, where I couldn't tell what the framing was, so in this video, I've got no head. People have been asking me to film a video about bunkers for quite a while now, and, and I've tried. I have. But finding a practice bunker that is worthy of shooting a video in is not as easy as it sounds. But I finally did find one. This one is fantastic. So let's get on to the video. That ball is just garbage. All right, well, we should probably go here. So, this is the long-awaited bunker shot video. And this bunker's got a little bit of hard pan to it, but otherwise, it's pretty good, and it actually works properly. So, what most people don't understand about a 60 degree wedge and getting out of the bunker is they're trying to lift the ball out. Square face, they're going to go dig behind it and then pull it up and out, something like this. Doesn't work. But if you use the club properly and use the bounce, as I'm going to, oh, go in the hole. As I'm going to show you in a minute, sand and water actually act quite the same. When struck with enough force, sand acts just like water. Right? See the splash? Well, that's why they call it a splash shot. So, what we're going to do is... We're going to displace the sand right behind the ball, right? I didn't hit that ball, but it still moved because the sand popped it up. So now, if my club is moving forward, that ball pops up just a tiny bit and my club catches the bottom of it, putting spin on it and driving it forward, right? So, as a lot of you know, I like to do things maybe what you'd call backwards or the wrong way. So rather than attempting to lift the ball out of the bunker, I imagine I'm packing the sand or compressing the sand under the ball with the, the uh, bounce or with the back side of the club, right? So I'm just going to mash the back side of my club into the ground that's under the ball. Just beautiful. Oh, going the hole. Damn. Uh, the other thing is, you have to learn, well, it's a completely different grip. You cannot use your regular grip. If you didn't notice, I'm wearing my Range Rooster. The completely non-leather, washable glove designed for the driving range. It's fantastic. I've been sweating off and it's humid and it's not too hot. It's around 85. But this thing is, it's not slippery. It's not slimy. And this is, I probably washed this thing five, six times. Redrooster.com. Red, Red Rooster Golf. That's what it is. And use the promo code overhand, I think it is, for 20% off. Sign up for their subscription program. It's fantastic. Grip. And open the club face enough. You actually have to lay the club face open. I'm going to do it over here. Lay the club face open. Then take your regular grip. Now you're ready to go with a nice open club face. Oh, that went. Oh, I think that went in. It also has to be, let's say... 
I will hit a couple. But if my desired ball flight is this direction, in order to properly use the bounce of the club, I have to swing in that direction. And the ball flies in that direction because the club face is open. Right? But if you're trying to swing straight down the line, what will happen is your club will turn over, leading edge will catch, and you'll dig. But if you're pulling it across and toward you, look at that. I can do that all day long without it ever digging. And the, the club just slides right nicely across the sand because of the bounce. That's what it's made for. But now if I try to... Uh, that's never going to work. Man, I'm making a mess out of this bunker. Okay. Um, it takes practice. Not a whole lot, because once you get it, you go, oh my god, is that easy. Um, but, uh, yep. So, I taught this to a guy the other day, because he was, he told me he was the world's worst bunker player. And he pretty much was. He, oh, that's a goner. And then there was, oh, I didn't make it out of the bunker. So I showed him. What's interesting is, is it's almost like you're standing behind the ball. Shaft is leading backward. And then just compress the ground under. And beautiful. But I guess a lot of people are used to their shaft leaning forward. And now, if you tried to do that, well, you're just going to catch the hosel. So the shaft actually has to lean backwards. And it's just cake. When, when you finally figure out how this sorry how this thing works it's it's just easy as pie I mean you'll go from worrying about can you get out of the bunker to can I make it when you get good at it I mean you get good at it and it is so easy And the same is true with chipping off of very tight lies. You cannot hit that leading edge chip with this kakuya, this tight kakuya grass that we have here in California. It'll grab your club like wet cement. But if you open the club face, play it like a little bunker shot using that, that bounce and pull the club across the ball, it'll skip across that kakuya grass just like sand and you'll get a nice little pinch spin controllable shot if you must chip it rather than putt around here I'd much rather putt from off the green than chip because of that grass so I think that's a bit f about it for the uh, the bunker video. I mean, can it get any easier? <laughs>